Welcome to Season 2, Episode 5, Commentary for the Residuals. I'm Michael Paul Smith. I play Pete. Hi, I'm Julian Pensavalli. I play Valerie. Hey, what's up? I'm James Tabik. I play Devin. Hi, I'm Patrick Jones, and I play Lance. Here we have Kathy Searle, Rocco Chiricella, and J. Julian Christopher playing our uh, execs. They're sort of a nebulous job position team that works with Mark on certain auditions. And they are hysterical. Yes. And in, and in this scene, they're um, secretly making a Facebook page for Mark because some client that is unnamed uh, requires it because it must be social media or technology related. And in yeah. order to qualify, they have to have Facebook profiles, and Mark hates that. And so right. they have to do it on the, on the DL. I loved how uh, Devin and Valerie sort of just with eye contact mm-hmm. said like let's not get involved let's nope. just say we don't know anything like yeah. we don't want to wake the dragon so yeah. we did that in like an instant exactly I mm-hmm. love Devin and Valerie let's be friends I with agree Devin and Valerie, I, Devin and Valerie I mean I love we have a thing we have a thing it was important that we established that because in the in the very next episode they try to educate Emmett about things to avoid <laughs> that's right, right. Their so they, their knowledge of Mark is pretty extensive they just don't yeah. want to share it with these execs they no. don't trust yeah. why would they, we give yeah, away the, totally the keys to the kingdom <laughs> if they didn't know what he likes and hated they would not be working there yeah, yeah. that's just the thing the Lyle file I love that I, I, did, I wanted to explore the Mark Lyle character as the enigma that he is he's sort of unknowable we have to get going or certainly right. unpredictable because they're going to be all what is that shirt? Is that a kitten? That's like a kitten kind of <laughs> I love always... how he owns these shirts. Like, I know. He, does. he came out of Mark Esther's yeah. actual wardrobe. And he like went out of his way to find like just the worst shirts possible. <laughs> he really did. James, what does your shirt say? That shirt, actually, depending on which way you read it, funny story, um, says, I just want to f*** you, or I just want to love you. Oh. Depending on which way you read the... And the, the, you know, that, that oh, like little, the, the blue and red word. Got it. And I wore that on stage. I remember um, on Broadway, uh, behind, you know, before the curtain had gone up, uh, I was a swing in Mary Poppins on Broadway. And I remember one of the little children that played <gasps> Michael or uh. Banks <laughs> actually was reading my T-shirt. And, you know, there's the blue light backstage before the curtain goes up. Oh, and no. so it filtered out all of the blue of the shirt. Oh, and all that was left was, oh, I just boy. want to... <laughs> was his mother around? No, 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 no one was. Uh, this, oh, okay. You know, stage management was around, but they, um, but you know, these kids, they're just, you know, they're they're working in an adult yeah, environment. They've seen, they've seen it all. That he was completely unfazed, but I, it didn't right even, uh, yeah, it didn't even occur to me that I was wearing that shirt. Wow. And, yeah. My shirt is all the dire wolves from Game of Thrones. Mm-hmm. So then can you have, name them without looking right now? Of course. Go for it. Grey Wind, uh-huh. Lady, uh-huh. Nymeria, uh-huh. Shaggy Dog, Ghost. Uh huh. And summer. And summer. Summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Warren, everybody. Kelly Warren. And this is an outtake that we wound up using. Yes. Oh, that's great. I had to wait for it. <laughs> See, that God was was actually Kelly Warren saying, God, I can't believe I dropped this. Yeah. <laughs> but we just used it because it worked. And you could hear everyone laughing that I had to edit out. But it was easy. Ed was also amazing in this, getting in Kelly's tub to get the shot. Yeah, he navigated that tiny space. Really? Really Look well. at that, he's in the, her tub. How yeah. else, I mean, there's nowhere else to go. That's great. And that's Alicia B. Woods, Alicia. our good friend. Oh my God, Alicia Reprising B. her angry, evil roommate character from season She's one. She's just not going to help her. Everyone in New York City has Gives an angry, evil phone. roommate. Yeah. Yeah. She has her own cell phone right there. Yeah. I can't tell you when I, so clearly I was not on this set because I'm not in this scene, but I can't tell you when this finally came out, this episode, how wildly entertained I was by her left breast resting <laughs> on the top. Look, it's just completely it's displaced just completely... and resting on, and it's featured, really. I mean, it, it needs a writer. It's, this is it, why Kelly Warren is fearless. It should get its own credit. It's <laughs> its own special thanks. <laughs> It's really special yeah. thanks to Kelly's left, left breast for resting just, on top. I do want to I do want to say one more thing about Alicia B. Woods. She is one of the best people I know who can do a lot with a little. Yes. Oh yeah. So just but we can talk more about Kelly's boobs if that's what just where the we're left going. one. Okay. I mean, just the left one, really, in this episode. Aw, look at her knights in shining armor. It's one of the many pieces of Islander swag that Nick and I. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. That Nick and I try to feature. <laughs> As we are beleaguered Islanders fans. I have to commend you guys because this is a small New York bathroom for getting all of those shots inside that it's bathroom. Real. It's not like, what, yeah. we're not at Silver Cup. Like, yeah. This is Kelly's apartment. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. this is legit. And this is Brooklyn. Which is kind of like awesome in general about the essence of the residuals is that it's all legit. 
All of it. Yeah. All of these people work in this industry. Yeah. Yeah. No one's pretending anything, really. Yeah. We're just kind of showing up and doing our lives. Yeah, that's true. When we had our first meeting about the concept of the show, I mean, our very first meeting, mm -hmm. it was Jillian, myself, Nick, and Kelly. And uh, we walked Kelly back to her apartment because her closet was falling apart. And yep. Nick actually... Like, we, we helped her fix things all around her apartment, so that sort of inspired this scene mm -hmm. yeah. itself. She lived nearby us at the time on the Upper East Side, and I remember she posted a picture on Facebook. She's like, when your closet breaks and your three friends stop everything and walk you home to fix it, like, that's a New York moment. And so I just put <laughs> yeah. it in the show. Our, that ripped apart couch is, as of yesterday, I think not it's still here on the anymore. curb. It's probably still on our curb outside. That's the Game of Thrones theme song is Valerie's ringtone. I love the idea that Valerie's fighting the dark side by just squeezing a stress ball and staring at an open flame. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She's, kind of, she's kind of out of really ideas. Having a moment. Yeah. Is she praying uh, to the Lord of Light? Like, yeah. what exactly is happening? Do we count that as a Game of Thrones reference here? Yeah. Do we? I like to think that Valerie's house Stark, because I am. Okay. And when you have your own show, mm. you can do whatever you want. The Starks don't pray to the Lord of Lights. Exactly. You'd have to be Stannis. You'd have to be a Stannis person. So now, you I'm don't conflicting. Want to be that. No. Okay, bye. You guys had so much fun filming that scene. Yeah. And Kelly was very generous to let us spray Perrier all over her apartment. Yeah. And that really was a Five Guys burger. I feel like Five Guys is more special to bring someone than oh, yeah. like McDonald's. We had yeah. them on set. Didn't oh, yeah. you bring us Five Guys on set? Yes. Mm -hmm. One day we, we just bought a bunch of burgers. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sure and we, we wanted to shout them out more, but they just gave you just a, like a thank you. They don't have a bag yeah. that says Five Guys. They yeah, just yeah. have brown paper bags and yeah. receipts. So yeah. that's all we had to show. So well, most people aren't stopping. Most people are just like Five Guys. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shovel well, it in. Five Guys, here's your shout out. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Five Guys. And thank you for watching. Stay tuned for episode six commentary. Bye.